Hey guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Jack's Mechanics. Uh, we're looking at a 2013, 2013 JKH Holden Cruise, 1.4 litre turbo. Um, essentially, it's got a couple of faults, low boost, and also running lean. We're just going to do a little overview on the lean side of things. I'm pretty sure our lean issue is causing our low boost issue as well. So, essentially, we've got a bad rocket cover and PCV diaphragm assembly. Um, essentially the PCV diaphragm is split and leaking uh, air to the atmosphere or drawing in air from atmosphere so unmetered air essentially causing the engine to run lean. I'm pretty sure that would lower the vacuum a little bit and our boost control solenoid that runs the turbo. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a wastegate or turbo vanes that it's controlling but Either way, it's electronically controlled with a vacuum switched valve, so it's electrically controlling vacuum. And um, I'll just show you. So, boost solenoid here, and uh, our diaphragm actuator to our right. I'm not sure if it's wastegate or VGT or VNT, whatever you guys want to call it, but essentially we have a lean issue. Um, and I, the, I, I'm pretty sure the vacuum is a bit low. Haven't actually checked it, but we're gonna fix our lean issue first, and then we'll recheck our boost. So, just going through the scan tool here. So we're in closed loop. And our fuel trims, positive, 34, 24, 58% positive fuel trim. So very, very lean. And um, first thing that we did, we just checked our EVAP solenoid. That's all mint. That's not breathing from the tank, which would also be unmetered air. Uh, next, I was just listening around the engine bay. I could hear a hissing noise. And uh, essentially, I pulled the, cap, the dipstick, if you listen to this. You can hear that sort of purge noise. So essentially you shouldn't, some cars do have vacuum into the crankcase like that, but it's very minimal, that, that's quite a lot of vacuum, you can hear the engine sort of splutter when I do that, and um, essentially our trims are even more now, 66, 67, this is our PCV diaphragm here, so the PCV is built into the rocker cover, and uh, it's a little bit intricate with the way that it's sort of set up with the uh, with the turbo side of things but um, essentially if I block this you can hear that so I'll block that off completely and straight away you can see our short terms coming down starting to correct that long term trim I'll let go of that start to watch that come back up so the repair for this you can get a diaphragm probably off eBay or something like that it's not what we do here we fix cars properly properly with genuine parts in most cases genuine parts depending on the cost we're replacing the whole rocket cover assembly we're going to pull the coil out undo the bolts it comes with a gasket comes with a PCV clean it all up probably put a bit of sealant on the gasket, put it down, torque the box down, and uh, that'll fix our lean issue. So, as you can see, so if you guys are suffering a P0171 uh, fault code, maybe low boost fault codes as well, and uh, you wanna be looking at our PCV diaphragm, have a listen to it. It's not always a telltale, like this is not always gonna happen when it splits. Sometimes I've seen them split and like not make noise, but really suck hard on the dipstick. So, uh, even another telltale sign when you try and take the cap off, sometimes it can be hard with the cap is so vacuumed onto the engine. <clears throat> so that's what I just sort of wanted to run by you. You've got your, you've got your fuel trims, that PCV split. I'll try and pop that cover off. Yeah, we should be able to pop that off and uh, see if we can see the split in there. It sounds like it's a pretty small split, but enough to send the fuel trims absolutely haywire. So 
I'll just try and pop that off. Bear with me. So I can't actually get that diaphragm off uh, the cover. So maybe you can't buy them on eBay. If you can, don't go down that road. Also with the second hand, like the um, aftermarket rocker covers, I've seen issues in the past where they build up a lot of crankcase, crankcase pressure and shoot oil out the dipstick and stuff like that. Don't risk it guys, just buy a genuine Holden one um, or GM, Chev, whatever you want to call it, Daewoo. They're all the same. Buy the, buy the proper one and just get it done right. Um, yeah, I'll get the new rock cover on and uh, we'll show you the new fuel trims. Righto guys, just started this uh, cruise up and got a new rock cover on it. Brand new from GM. We're in closed loop. As you can see, we have short term act uh, active trims. If we have short term trims, you can tell that we are in closed loop, but I will prove that to you. Closed loop, almost closed loop instantly. Only been running for 100 seconds in nearly two minutes. As you can see, they're both basically let minus 11 plus 11. So this is pulling this down, and then when it gets to zero zero, then uh, you know we're obviously pretty close. I mean, um, it's pretty much like plus or minus 10 percent. It's most people's uh, saying on how accurate things should be uh, with the fuel trims. Sorry, not accurate, sort of like what you're allowed the tolerance. But this is good. This is fixed, and obviously again, no noise. You got some noise, some noise from the dipstick, which, like I said, some cars will run a vacuum on the crankcase. Uh, but yeah, it shouldn't be excessive. Like before, it was making a big purge noise. So that's that. Now I will go and have a drive and um, have a look at this boost issue and see if that's resolved the boost issue as well. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much going to wrap this one up for the lean condition PO 171 uh, 1.4 LUW Toyota uh, Holden Cruise uh, turbo petrol engine have a listen for your PCV pretty common it would also suit other models like other cars with uh, built-in PCV systems so yeah please consider liking and subscribing to the channel got plenty more tips and tricks on there have a look through and um, yeah greatly appreciated Thanks very much. Take care.